what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are oh, you getting it in? Somebody's getting it for you. What's good, people? <laughs> Woo, what's good, people? It's a day of a day of another day we call Thursday. Anyway, that being said, what's good, people? Oh, I guess you already heard all the speculation and everything that's going on in reference to Obama when he was trying to do the LGB um, speech in reference to the transgender community, trying to, you know, get out as far as helping the trans, you know, and the minorities as far as, you know, the immigrant, which he was really interrupted with a girl by the name of Jen. I'm not, I'm not even going to try to pronounce her whole name, but it's like some Jeanette. Her name is like this. Okay, so, um... He was basically trying to give a speech in reference to the LGBT, which he was um, interrupted in the middle of his speech and stuff like this. And this is the video right here in case you didn't see LGBT, Americans is... Yeah, hold on, say that. Okay, you know what? No, 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 It's not, you know what, it's not, it's not respectful when you get invited to somebody. You're not, you're not, you're not going to, you're not, you're, you're not going to get a good response from me by interrupting me like this. They, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can either stay and, and be quiet, or we'll have to take you out. Shame on you! Alright, can we have this person removed, please? Come on, come on. No, no. come on. Come on, guys. Okay. Now, you see, this is the thing. I was a little upset behind this because I feel this so, um, to me, my personal opinion of it is, I feel as though, if it would have been another president up there, I don't believe she would have done it. But sometimes we get too familiar with people, and I'm not saying familiar, but we feel as though when a, when a, when a president is, is very familiar as far as go, knowing the challenges and things that we're going through, we get too familiar to familiarize with them and then we sit back and we start disrespecting them and that's the reason why a lot of things I do what I do when it comes to the girls like me and when I was talking about to you know the girls when we were talking about you know how you need to embrace another girl stuff like that you get too familiar with someone which is the president of the United States of America this is not a friend this is not your cousin and if it was you give them that respect when he's on that platform which is inside that White House anyway that being said I wanted to find out exactly who this woman was, and here's a picture of her right here. Okay. Now, she's an advocate and stuff like that um, from the trans, um, transgender um, committee. She's, um, you know, a, a, um, an activist. Um, from Get Equal LGBT and I wanted to find out exactly what was she trying to say because I'm like you know what I got mad at her but I want to find out exactly what was she really you know what was the reason why she was trying to you know basically be so rude because when you're invited to a an event like this, I feel as though you should be on your best. You, we, after all, we are talking to the President of the United States of America. The only problem I have with the President thing is that when he told his security people to get her, they should do like this. I don't feel as though he should have had to wait so long before they respond. I had a problem with that because this is a president. This is not somebody of this or that. This is a president of the United States of America. Now, if this person came inside trying to do some harm, they should have been on her like that and out the door. She should have been out the door. Anyway, with that being said, I'm just going to give you a brief, um, you know, in case you don't know. Um, she's um, an un She was speaking the word of an undocumented trans. She's an undocumented trans. Mexican immigrant that shouted out. She had been in um, 
she had been involved she had been invited by a girl named Angela Peoples, a director of Get Equal LGBT advocate group, as a guest to the event, which is a private um, reception area, which was in a private reception area. People say that they plan on doing this um, for the, for a while, you know, that they kind of stay to this stuff. They um they want they kind of stay to them so they really didn't socialize with anyone else because they already had pre pre planned this allegedly. This is what other people were saying when they were there. They were kind of um, standoffish and stuff like that. She wanted to bring the, um attention to the urgent crisis of trans women being held and you know detention. They wanted the protection granted by the nation to someone who has left their native countries as a political refugee. And they look at trans so they won't hire them, which we already know, and they fall to the horrible cycle of the government protection. It is a long process. That was what she was trying to say. She was talking in reference to um, the deportation and the uh, um, immigrants being held in detention. Oh, it was crazy. Anyway, that being said, this is a picture of her hollering out. Okay, you see that? So, I had wanted to find out, you know, I was like, well, okay, now, what is a undocumented transgender woman? So I was like, let me just look it up and see if I can find out, you know, an immigrant woman from Mexico, she's talking in reference to, you know, um, undocumented transgender women. So I found this, and I want you to check this out. Now, let me let you know firsthand, you may have to do some reading because they don't quite speak English. So let's just work with it and work with me. Okay, here we go. The skin, the yucky, can be la ciudad de Los Ángeles se siente raro porque ves muchas luces, muchos carros sientes como que estás en el país de las maravillas te lo juro que si hubiera una varita mágica me preguntaran ¿qué quieres ser para tu próxima vida? si es que existe yo dijera lo mismo es que todo como yo soy uno de mis grandes sueños realmente es ayudar a mi comunidad a mis hermanas y hermanos transgéneros porque es Yo soy una de ellas, es una de las víctimas. This past Saturday, a 28-year-old woman was brutally murdered just because of who she was. That happened in Mexico, and that's one of the reasons why members of the trans community flee their country. So los abusos fueron varios. Me amordazaban, me amarraban de mis pies, de mis manos para violarme, para abusarme. Asylum is a form of protection for people that have suffered persecution in their own countries. Con mi caso, de asilo ya tengo, voy a cumplir cinco años. Mañana se va a decidir si gano o pierdo el caso. Creo que es mejor arriesgarme a cruzar que arriesgarme a perder la vida. Y no me da pena porque pues, es mi vida y es lo que yo viví y es lo que voy a seguir viviendo hasta los restos y los días de mi, de mi vida. Amén. Okay. <laughs> Now, the thing about it is that I was a little shocked when I saw that document and stuff like that. I was like, you know, hmm. It's very different, but I kind of understand it because evidently I'm thinking that some of her friends have been deported and stuff like that. And, and she, uh, she wanted the president to end deportation of the undocumented trans trans women and Obama said it was fine that you heckling but it was the time and place you know that you could do this and right about now this is not you know she said that the immigration and stuff like that is they're very um she claims that immigration officials are carrying out on minorities you know I understand the whole thing now I'm going to give you my to just read a lot of stuff off you know, and give your idea of basically what she was trying to do. She's talking about the deportation of immigrants inside the country and stuff like that. And, you know, they're being held at detention centers and stuff like that. My thing is this is that I understand it. And there are a lot of girls who are not immigrants. And we get it. Trust me, we get it. And we know the minorities are, you know, deprived of jobs and work and stuff like that. And we understand the whole thing. You know, it's what you're trying to do is be an advocate and stuff like that. But you can get a lot of bees with honey. And a lot of times, in order for someone to work with you much more faster, you got to come across a lot more friendlier 
when you come into a place being very rude and obnoxious, when this, when you decide, when he decides he wants to sit down with you, if he does, because me, myself, if I'm the President of the United States, I'm, I wipe my hands at you. In order to bake a cake, honey, you got to have the right recipe to put inside it in order to take sweets so everybody can take a bite. But if you got nothing but bitterness inside the cake, no one wants a piece of it. Now, I'm going to tell you what will happen if it does happen. If someone sits down and they go with someone like this, and now as I've watched the way you disrespected me in front of the people inside of my White House after you drank my liquor and you ate my food, and you're going to sit in front of me and say, well, let me just tell you what I want you to do. You want me to understand what you want me to do when I'm the president of 96 of America. You disrespected me, and you want me to sit down and listen to you. Do you understand the power that man can have on you? Do you understand the secret service and stuff like that that can make you just Do you understand you are an immigrant inside of this country? Do you understand that you can have your visa, if it's here, revoked? Do you understand that you can be shipped out? Do you understand the power of, of this man could do to you? Are you thinking inside of your head? I understand that you want to help your other girls and stuff like the treasure. I get that. But in order to sit down and cut a piece of the pie, honey, you got to make it sweet. You're not, you cannot throw bitterness into someone's face. And I'm going to tell you what happens. When you sit in front of somebody, even a transsexual woman like me, and you disrespected us, I'm going to tell you what happens. We don't hear nothing. You say, oh, here's how you disrespect us. And we're just looking at you like this. We don't really care what you got to say. We may hear you out, but at the end of the day, it'll go nowhere. In order to get somewhere in life, honey, you got to learn how to be humble. Things are not going to go your way you want. We are already here in the United States of America, and it's not going the way we want. So in order for us to try to get that, we have to try to find a mutual ground of understanding. We have to get that respect and smile, even though you don't find nothing funny, to try to get a friendly feeling, to try to get things through. There are a lot of people working this out of corporate America, don't even have the degrees in the city. You know how to get the job. They knew somebody, knew somebody, 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 somebody in the man. Do you honestly think that they would have gotten tired of there if they was nasty? You cannot get nowhere in life when you're going to disrespect somebody you're asking help from. That's just food for thought. That's something some, you know you need to learn from. And this is my thing to Jen or anyone else want to disrespect somebody who's trying to help you. The first person I've ever heard that somebody's really trying to help the LGBT as, as much as I've ever heard. I've never heard anyone else try to do it as much. But this is how you respect him. You're not even from this country. You're an immigrant. You're, undo you're talking about undocumented being an immigrant, which, can, which is enough right there. I understand you want to help other people. Maybe somebody in your family or friends or something like that. You don't watch. You know, that you want to get them out. But I'm going to tell you something. That's not the way to do it. That's not the You don't disrespect somebody like that. You just don't. But then again, in this world, we live in y'all. Most people don't even care no more. Y'all disrespect. You talk about this wife. You talk about that. Y'all don't even care. You know, I would have had you thrown out. I would have had you thrown out, and I would have had you do some time. I'm going to be honest with you. I would have. Because my thing is, is that you don't come to my event. That's private. You wasn't invited. You came in with a friend, Angela, who brought you in as a guest, a plus one. And then you all come there, and y'all both don't say do that. I just don't agree with it. It's just my opinion. You don't have to agree with me, but that's just my opinion. I just don't agree with it. I think it is wrong on so many levels. You could have just, it's just more than one way. I guess you wanted to get out there so everybody could talk about what everybody's talking about. But a lot of girls in shame feel really embarrassed for what you did. It's just a disrespect on so many levels. It's a disrespect. It's just so disrespectful. Now, once this president leaves, I'm going to see what you do when the next president comes inside and he's not really support. If he's not really supporting LGBT, what are you going to do? You going to go up there and heckle him? See, you have to understand that life. You better pick your battles wisely because I'm going to tell you something in the world we live in. People can make you disappear, and you go off to the top person that can make it happen. You understand the forces? You got the FBI, you got secret agents, you got people that's not even known about that can come in and take care of you and take you out and ship you back to where you don't want to be. You better use your brain and not be stupid. People can make you disappear, honey. People can make you disappear. You better be smart. You better pick your battles wisely, is what I'm saying. Pick your battles wisely, Jen. Keep pick your battles wisely. That's all I'm saying. I understand you want to fight for rights, but you better pick your battles wisely because you're not thinking. We're here from the United States of America and we're having the same problems you're having. You're not in alone. But we do know you got to approach people the right way. Anyway, with that being said, I want to know how you feel about that and how, you know, do you feel as though she was right for going up there, you know, heckling and she's invited to something, she's eating their food and, you know, drinking their stuff and then she acts like a damn fool up there. You know, anyway, that being said, and I understand, you you know, people are going through a lot and you want to help. And I get that. I try to help as well. 
I just pick my battles wisely. I just know not to disrespect somebody I'm going to help from. Because I'm going to be honest, and a lot of girls going to sign on. When you disrespect me, and you want me to help you, I'm going to look at you like, I'll be right back. Get that out of here. I want that in here. Pick your battles wisely. Anyway, that being said, I want to say, I want to hear your opinion on this. I want to know if you feel as though she was right. Do you feel as though her delivery was right? Do you feel as though that's the way she should have disrespect the president of the United States of America, who's being dis disrespected the most, who's trying to help us, and you come up there and you do that, and you feel like you're, oh, look what I did, look what I did. She'd be ashamed. She'd be a real shame, Jen. Anyway, that being said, I want to say hello all new people. Boom. I want to say oh people fam. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I want you to do you. I want you to do the best with it you can. And if nobody like it, then fuck them. Over.